Well, three girls were injured after being dumped out of a Ferris wheel basket and falling, wow, 45 feet to the ground at a Tennessee County Fair last night. An inspector uh, expected there today to figure out what went wrong. Meantime, the investigation continues into the tragic death of a 10 year old boy who, on the world's tallest water slide in Kansas, as we learned, that slide was never inspected by the state. So, how can you make sure your kids stay safe? while having fun at amusement parks. Joining me now is amusement ride inspector and safety consultant, Walter Reese. You know, Walter, thanks for joining us. This is the type of thing that hits home for all of us. I was just at a county fair literally four days ago with my three young sons, two of which are old enough to ride rides. Uh -huh. They all have height and requirements. We're trying to get our kids into rides. Do they quite fit? Uh, so we're all making these calculations on a daily basis. Uh, what went wrong in these instances? Uh, well, in these two scenarios here with the Ferris wheel, that, that from my impression, that was something mechanical. Something either the the car gate was configured improperly and got caught on the on the sweep sure. arm, or something else mechanical came off of the car and actually obstructed its its uh, its rotation. Uh, and How about on the water slide? On on the water slide, that that that's an absolute debacle. Uh, I mean that that I mean that that that's almost criminal, really, what happened because that ride never should have opened in the first place. You know, we actually have some footage. You mentioned not opening in the first place. Some footage that we just found uh, of the testing that was going on on this water slide. If you watch, look at that. That is literally flying. This is just test. There's nobody on these. They're testing the water slide. This is before it opened. So there's nobody on these. But it shows you as it's under construction that they knew they're playing with fire on this. You know, is someone, would someone be held accountable? And who in an instance like this? Yeah, you know, it's my impression that somebody's going to jail. Okay, uh, you know whether that be designers, engineers, the, the owner, uh, inspectors, whoever it was that was responsible for allowing this thing to operate uh, in the hazardous design state that it's in. Yeah, uh, I think it's going to be held accountable because th there's just too many variables with sure. this current design. Uh, knowing that the rafts would fly off like that, I, I was mortified when I saw that. Yeah. I've never seen anything so ridiculous like that. No, it's incredible. So they put a net on it. They did. They had a weight requirement, things like that. But still, obviously dangerous for parents watching. Uh, you know, you've got the county fair that comes through. You've got the state fair. You've got permanent amusement yeah. parks. Yeah. You know, what are your tips for parents when they bring kids to a any number of these different facilities? Well, y you need to, first of all, never push your child through the height restriction. If, if they don't make the restriction... So never so do what I do every time. And yes. I taught my four-year-old to stand on his tippy toes. I'm no, going to admit no, that. No, no, no. The, see, the, the, the restraints on a ride are designed for a particular body size. Yeah. Say it's a, a shoulder restraint on a roller coaster. It's designed to touch your shoulders. Sure. Okay, if you're too small and it... it terminates at the wrong height, you're yep. going to have too much movement in there. So the height kid could fly out. Sure. Okay, yeah. so someone could die if you push the kid through the height restriction. It's best to just follow the rules that are posted on the ride. Yeah. So if it looks sketchy or skeptical, it's right to be, to be concerned and maybe step Most back. Most people have the mechanical aptitude to look at something and make a determination. This looks safe, this looks well maintained, or this has rust streaks coming down the side. This is making banging noises where it really shouldn't, or the operator is acting all erratic or, or, or paying more attention to the girls than to the ride. Okay, there, there's a lot of indications that a parent should kind of have enough common sense to say, sure. you know what, I'm not going to let my kid ride. I'm going to go notify the management about sure. this. Sure. Ultimately, these, uh, at the county fairs, just show up for a couple of days, set up shop, and uh, and you know your kids are up 50 feet in the air. So that, that's a lot of risk. Intuition's a big one. Absolutely. Walter Reese, thanks for your tips sure. this morning. We certainly feel for these families that have had these losses. Absolutely. Thank you.